Woods Beach House Furnishings is your one-stop furniture destination. Refresh your living room. Impress your guests with custom dining room sets. Transform your bedroom. Create your own outdoor oasis. We also offer custom upholstery, area rugs, wall art, and more. We'll even design your home for you. Platts has been in business for over 75 years, and we continue to deliver high-quality furniture to your home. Come check out our massive showroom on MacArthur Boulevard in Summers Point today. Hey guys, thank you so much for checking us out on the Northcast Weather Channel. We are looking at another really nice day out there, all right? Sunshine, blue skies, low humidity, the whole nine yards. Temperatures are starting off generally in the low to mid 40s throughout the Pine Barrens, even cooler on the other side of Philadelphia, just like yesterday. But with this little flow coming in off of the Delaware Bay, obviously there are some folks that are a little bit warmer around 60. That just shows you the influence of that warmer water. But mainland, you definitely need a hoodie or a light jacket first thing this morning. Your morning commute is good. We got a green light across the board on the travel there at 11 o'clock, we're up to 65 degrees, and we're not gonna, you know, build on that too much. It's gonna feel like fall out there, and not only today, but for the rest of the week, into the weekend, and then beyond, I think, even into next week as the humidity stays low, and it's just gonna be extremely enjoyable to be outdoors. Now, while we are in good fortune, our friends down south in Florida, anything but. We have major Hurricane Milton that is going to be making landfall in about 18 hours from now between Tampa and Sarasota. And this is going to be bringing some significant, in some cases, catastrophic impact. Already starting to see the outer bands work onto the mainland and the tornado threat is going to be there throughout the day. So the bulk of the activity doesn't get there until late in the day today. but. Thunderstorms that have the rotation characteristics will be a concern and that opens the door up for, you know, tornadoes and uh, street flooding and all kinds of stuff. Here's the center of Milton that is expected to go just south of Tampa, though a last minute wobble could bring it farther to the north. But we've been talking about this for several days now. If it does indeed track to the south of Tampa, Tampa Bay, that area will be spared the worst of the storm surge. But then we start focusing on Sarasota, Venice, uh, Port Charlotte, Fort Myers. Those areas will get it the worst. The heaviest rain is going to be through central Florida, and that's where we can see 6 to 10 inches plus. Here comes the landfalling hurricane and then it rockets across Florida, still maintaining hurricane status, I believe, until it ejects itself on the other side. It's out of your hair by Thursday afternoon and evening, and then things wind down. We are looking at the most intense winds being right here in Tampa, Bradenton, down into Cape Coral, with hurricane force gusts extending into Orlando, Gainesville, and even for the villages. And you could get some 50 mile an hour gusts outside of that zone, but it's really going to be Tampa, Bradenton, and then I think to the north and east. Here at home, around 70 degrees, lots of sunshine out there, a comfortable day overall, a few fair weather cumulus clouds might try to pop in at times, but it's just more of the same from what we've seen over the past couple days, and we are you know, thankful for that. We are excited about that, though we do need rain in a bad way. Like, we need a lot of rain. We are running a deficit of about five or six inches. If you're heading out golfing today, here's your forecast. Get it? 69 this afternoon, west northwest winds at about five to 10 miles an hour. Uh, for your Thursday, clear skies about 65 degrees again. And your seven day forecast is gonna show you continued sunshine. Spiking up a little bit, upper 70s on Saturday but then back down below normal early next week. Stay tuned for Wake Up Call. We will have the very latest information on Milton, where it's going, who it's going to impact, how long we expect the impacts to last, and all that stuff. We'll see you at 7.